So now I'm basically ready to get started with the rig. Um, I'm going to um, open up Advanced Skeleton. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Advanced Skeleton is like an auto sort of rigging plugin for Maya. It's, um, it's great for doing simple stuff, uh, I think. So when you launch it, it creates this sort of um, side menu here, and, and you run through a list of, um, of things you do to rig your model. You pr prepare the model, you fit the rig, then you can skin it and do all kinds of different um, skinning methods, and then it allows you to sort of publish a rigged model, and it's great. Um, for this, the, the, the like typically you'll do model clean if it's a, a standard sort of skin. This isn't that. Um, what model clean does is I think it will do a number of things, including freezing your transforms. I don't want that in this case. I want um, the orientations of all these pieces of geometry to remain intact. So for instance, like the elements of the head, I want to be able to like easily like rotate these pieces of geometry along this angular axis that, that's in line with the orientation of the head. So this head is angled down at the um, kind of diagonally down, and you'll see the axis will go with it, and then these all, all these pieces can rotate with that head orientation. Had I frozen the transforms, then if I were to go to rotate this, it, it'll rotate around sort of like an incorrect axis. Um, so that's why <clears throat> I think I'm going to hold off on on doing a full like model clean like I normally would. Also, it's not symmetrical. Usually it checks to see if it's symmetrical. So I'm just going to keep it how it is. Um, one other side note, I did end up making like a full shell out of, out of that geometry that I had sort of used to um, block in the shapes. I, I just bullioned it all and just cleaned up the topology a teeny tiny bit. So this isn't really a skin. It's more like a kind of a cage that I can um, use to generate geometry. And then maybe in some instances, maybe I could use it as like a, a warp for some of these neck pieces. Because when this um, model is in motion. Some of these pieces I, can move rigidly um, with the bones. Some of them, they're, I think they're a little too big to move rigidly, like it's going to look strange um, if this piece is just moving and not deforming. So I may either skin some of these larger pieces or warp them to this um, shell. So that's my plan. Uh, I'm going to just go for it. <clears throat> So getting started, um, first I'm, I'm going to do I'm going to save this scene horse model two. That's going to be my like character model. Then I'm going to do new scene um, with this advanced skeleton uh, um, panel, and I'm going to reference the scene I just had open um, horse model two, and in pops um, the horse model and it's templated, and within here it's it's all my same. Um, pieces of geometry, but now they're referenced. And the, and the advantage here is that, let's say I rig this whole thing, and I and I realize I I want to add a piece, or I did something like not quite right, and I want to tweak it. <clears throat> I can simply go back and update the um, horse model two file, and it will then automatically update within the rig file. So that's why um, I'm I'm creating a reference there. So I'll do horse model two rig just to know like what, what's going with what. And then under here within body, typically you, you, you're you using this tool to create human rigs, This, but it does have a drop-down menu um, and you can do all kinds of different rigs. And within the drop-down menu, there's a horse rig. So I'm gonna say import horse and then in comes this sort of basic horse skeleton. And now, I'll just, all I have to do is um, uh, push and pull these joints into the correct places. Um, so I'll do that. I'll probably speed this video up a little bit while I'm, while I'm working on that. Uh, and, and at the end, hopefully this, all these joints will be kind of in, in the right place um, for this model. Okay.
So this rig is probably good enough for what I need it for. If we were seeing a skinned horse with musculature or any sort of like realistic surface detail, I'd probably want to go further uh, with the articulation, but because I'm envisioning something more like a jumble of shapes, this should totally work, I think. Uh, so I'm ready to start animating now. Uh, check out part 5 to see how I set up the gallop. Thanks for watching.